Oh, my name is Rosemary. Um, I've been with this ministry for since the beginning in 81. Um, and for me, the greatest healing I received was Mary Michael Queen bringing me to our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, there's been many trials in my life, but because of Mary Michael Queen giving me her son in a very deep and special way, I've been able to get through everything. Um, four months ago, I had open heart surgery. I had no aorta valve replaced. I was back at work in six weeks. They said it would be 12 weeks, and I'm doing very well. And I know that it's only through all the prayers of everybody in the ministry and through our Lord Jesus Christ's hand. Thank you. Um, just a brief testimony about myself. I've been with the ministry for uh, for so many years, probably over over twenty some years, and uh, I came also out of personal need. Um, uh, I had been pursuing uh, I was born and raised Catholic, but had been pursuing alternative forms of um, spirituality, let's say. And um, I had just gotten married, and uh, in my young married life, suddenly uh, uh, multiple tragedies came upon me, forms of illness. Uh, for my wife and also for my daughter. We were living in Iowa at the time at this alternative spirituality center. Um, I never really totally abandoned my Catholic faith, but never was uh, totally alive in it. Uh, after, uh, after that crisis that came up in my family, uh, we moved back to Chicago. And, uh, you know, God calls each one of us by name. We really feel that in, in this ministry, it's a personal call that Mary Immaculate Queen comes and invites each one of us personally. And that's what happened to me, to bring him to the healing touch of her son, Lord, her Lord and her, her son. That's what happened to me. Uh, God placed me in a job, I'm a graphic designer photographer, and God placed me in a, in a job that uh, sat right next to a, uh, to a, to a young lady who uh, was a parishioner at Barb's home parish in, uh, in Lombard, St. Pius X at the time. And she started describing to me some of the events that were happening at her church. Uh, Barb had received the gift of healing and was conducting healing services. Uh, and there was a, um, a Father Kelleher who also had uh, consecrated uh, her, her home parish uh, to Mary Immaculate Queen and, and St. Pius. And uh, this lady started telling me about this. She says, you've never seen anything like this in your life. Uh, people resting in the spirit. She said, I just sat and awe of what was happening. And then right after that, um, there was a brief little news article about her on uh, 10 o'clock news. And so, with the needs in my family, I said, well, let's go. And so, uh, we went in the very first moment I walked in, I could feel the healing touch of Jesus. The presence of the Lord is overwhelming, as many of you know. You know, we're just crazy. Out of all these times, there's never been a time, and I mean never a time, that the Lord has not shown up for us. It is just truly incredible. Praise God. And, uh, I attended a few services um, and, and felt the you know the refreshing touch that you just feel you just feel the services. And then one time I went up to a service that Barb was conducting at a, um, a monastery in River Forest, and uh, you know Barb didn't know me from anyone, and, uh, and we know that the Lord is the one that heals and touches through her. She'll be the first to admit that. And she walked up to me and just says, "What do you want to pray for?" And you know, just everything in my life was in chaos. I didn't know where I was going. Uh, my, my wife was, had a, had a uh, severe mental illness. Uh, my daughter had recently been diagnosed with a, uh, with a physical disability. Uh, the path that I had thought was I was certain of for my life was no longer available to me because of uh, the illnesses in my family. So I just was devastated. Didn't know who to turn to. And that's when the Lord steps in. That's when the Lord steps in in a mighty way when we don't know who to turn to. And so the Lord did. When Barb uh, asked me what to pray for, I just said, peace in my family. I didn't know what else to say. And that's when the Lord struck me, literally. <laughs> I mean, you know, rest in the spirit, but I mean, I had one moment I was standing, the next moment I was laying on the ground, and he filled me with such a peace that so many people can hear and testify to. You know, they say the peace that goes beyond understanding, and that's what the Lord touched me with. Just filled my whole body, literally, almost with light. And, and in my heart, I heard the Lord say, you know, why are you concerned with that alternative path of spirituality? You're perfect at the feast of Christ the King. He said, am I not 
the ruler of the universe? Am I not the creator of the whole world? Can I not give you everything that you ever desired? So from that moment, ups and downs of life, you know, as long as we're living in this life, there's going to be difficulties. But all the ups and downs of life, you know, when we have those moments where God comes and he touches us personally, from that moment on, everything you know that you can handle because you know that the Lord is on, on, on your side. And, and you know, the Lord, the devil, the devil, there's so many of us here in the ministry too, the devil, uh, you know, they say the devil never ceases wandering. And he, and he constantly goes for, for us and wants our souls. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just a fact. It's just the way it is. And so it came upon me too. The Lord tempted me with different sins against purity. And I thought, you know, how am I ever going to ever, ever, ever going to get out of this? But the Lord touched me again and healed me and uh, is bringing me forward. So, you know, when the Lord touches you, you're just filled with gratitude. You're just filled with gratitude. And we're just in awe that the Lord comes to our little group and touches us and, and gives us his healing presence. So it's just with gratitude that we come on this Feast of Christ the King for, for touching us. So. Praise God. Praise God. Hello, <laughs> my name is Shay, um, and I, I loved hearing Ellen's story because I loved all those beautiful testimonies, but in particular, one year ago, I came to my first Barbara O'Malley service on the Feast of Christ the King, and um, I walked in the door, and I saw all the things, and I was kind of looking at, oh, what's all that, and Ellen was standing there, and, and uh, she introduced herself and just asked me, oh, what's your name? And, just asking about myself, and I was in a very low place as they're testifying. That's, I guess, when the Lord really wants to come in and scoop you up. Um, so, basically, I was on a leave of absence from medical school. I had done two years, and then I became lots of things in my life and family, and deeply depressed, and was diagnosed with depression for the first time, and um, couldn't study, couldn't, just couldn't really function. And uh, my leave started in around June, so I was just kind of floating in midair in my life and uh, alone in my apartment in Illinois. My family lives in California. Anyway, I came to this service and Ellen said, oh, what's your name? What do you, what do, you do? What's your story or whatever? And I said, oh, I'm a medical student. And she said, you must be brilliant. <laughs> and I, it made me feel really good because I felt like such a loser. And I did not feel brilliant at all. You know, I was like unable to even open a book because I was just so messed up and confused and I don't know what, depressed, all that. So anyway, that was just the first thing. And then she told me her story that she just told you. And I'm like, wow, I hope I get some electric shock in my body. <laughs> that sounds exciting. Um, but she told me to sit front and center, so I did. And uh, I was nervous. And I just sat and I just looked at this image of Jesus and I think she told me to pour my heart out to him too. And so I did that and I just sat there and just looked at Jesus and told him everything on my heart. And just cried and cried. <laughs> just tears, not like loudly. I was embarrassed, but I just went with it. And, um, you know, I don't think anyone was lucky to be. And, uh, but, you know, the Lord was healing me through that at that moment and Barbara, you know, hugged me and, and uh, I don't know what happened. I didn't feel an electric shock, um, but that was okay. And uh, I rested in the spirit and I kept coming back and I kept uh, having good positive things happening in my life. And, you know, I try to get up and testify because there was always something new and nice that had happened. And uh, now it's a year later um, just a little example, so as far as my social life, a year ago on Thanksgiving, I was alone in my apartment and I FaceTimed with my family in California, and I ate a chicken pot pie. This year on Thanksgiving, I was with a group of friends I had met on a pilgrimage in April in Indiana, um, six children, little girls, and, and it was just a beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving. And um, and I had other options too, and that was just one. It was wonderful, and I was overjoyed. And this weekend's been wonderful. And then another example, I went back to school. I passed my big exam that I had to pass in April. I went on pilgrimage to Medjugorje, it was amazing. And um, I 
I actually took my test on my enthronement anniversary because oh, I knew I could do it with Our Lady. I honestly had very little confidence in myself, but Our Lady pulled me along. And um, so yeah, the other thing is I started school July, and my first, I had to do periodic exams every about six weeks. My first exam, I failed barely by two points. My second exam, I barely passed. My third exam, I got an 87%, which was well above average. And so basically I got a 52%, 62%, 87%. So um, things are going a lot better now. Praise <laughs> And uh, hopefully the next one will be a 95% or something. I'm excited to be a physician. I like, I think a family medicine doctor. That's what I'm thinking right now. And I'm um, grateful to be here. Grateful for Barbara's healing touch and all the messengers and Our Lady and uh, Jesus Christ the King. Thank you. Praise God. Hi everybody, um, my name is David Barbara. Uh, I wanted to share uh, something the Lord showed me. It's uh, Psalm 40. He showed it to me two weeks ago. Um, I waited patiently for God to help me. Then he listened and heard my cry. <clears throat> he lifted me out of the pit of despair, out from the bog and the mire. And he set my feet on a hard, firm path and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing of praises to our God. <clears throat> now many will hear the glorious things he did for me and stand in awe before the Lord <clears throat> and put their trust in him. Many blessings are given to those who trust in the Lord and they have no confidence in those who are proud or who trust in idols. Praise, Praise you, Lord. Jesus. Praise Jesus. you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Um, and that pretty much sums up what happened to me. Um, I came here on July 16th, 2017. I had been through a pretty dark time in my life. Went through divorce. Uh, lost my kids. Uh, I was deep into drinking alcohol and just suppressing any kind of like feelings or emotion and uh, since I came here to this ministry in Barbara O'Malley and uh, Jesus Christ our Lord and Mary Immaculate Queen have taken me and uh, lifted me up and uh, I haven't drank alcohol since then and I don't want to I just want to um, turn from sin and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, thank you all. Amen, David. A couple months ago, I prayed with Barbara to have forgiveness for my ex-daughter-in-law and I completely couldn't stand and she was always making problems in all our lives. And from the day we prayed and I rested in the spirit, I have no, no bad thoughts about her. God has been very good to me. He's always amazed me. And I want to tell you something that happened to me the last time I came, which was a couple weeks ago. I came with a friend and um, when Barbara was passing the picture around, my friend went up to it and then rested in the spirit. And I was sitting in a chair here and her head was there. And I was amazed. Her face got white but glowing white. And all her wrinkles were gone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll her try her again. <laughs> she <laughs> but she wouldn't believe me when I told her. That's all right. I guess I was the only one who was supposed to see that. But that is how amazing God is to us. And I just want to praise that. Thank you. 
for such being such a wonderful guy for all of us. This is David's mother. And we're going to get a lot more ladies coming to the testimony. So if you do that on service. Hi, my name is Karen, and um, I've been coming to Barbara O'Malley since July. Actually, it was the next time after my nephew David came, because he had invited my sister and I, his mother, um, to come. And as I mentioned the last time, for those that were here, I never believed in this. Um, I never believed in the healing. I, I mean, I believe in prayer deeply. I believe in Mary. I believe in everything. I just never believed in the healing. I just said, no, it doesn't work for me. Well, since I've been coming, I have been praying to the Sacred Heart and Mary Immaculate Queen every day. I make sure. And so I thank Barbara for her healing ministry. And if I ever have a chance to talk to anyone, I would tell them, believe. Because I didn't believe, and now I do. Amen. 